Earlier this week, when we lost one of the greatest guitar players this planet has ever seen, testimonials and tributes poured in from all over. Eddie Van Halen lost a decades long battle with cancer Tuesday, passing away at the age of 65. The virtuoso's impact on rock and roll and music in general will last forever. Celebrities and big name rock stars all played a big part in the outpouring of grief and disbelief. Well, that emotion also trickled down to small towns and unknown shredders who idolized Eddie. Even here in the Treasure Valley, two musicians who weren't even born, were born way after Van Halen even graced the Billboard charts. Eddie Van Halen crashed the rock and roll party in the late 70s with a style unheard and unheralded. Decades later, his death was felt all over the music world and tributes everywhere erupted from Paris to Pasadena to Parma. Eighth grader Chase Clark was never really much into music, an inactive participant, you might say, until a few years ago. My dad introduced me to some of like old classic rock, like ACDC, uh, Guns N' Roses, Van Halen. What did you think of it when you first heard it, when he first played it for you? I thought it was awesome because it wasn't like anything I'd, I'd ever heard because I used to listen to like hip hop and stuff. But it was Eddie Van Halen that got Chase into guitar. He made me want to learn how to play fast. That was the biggest thing because I heard him playing fast and I thought it was really cool. And eruption was his first ambition. Since I was playing, I thought I thought because that tapping section where it's really fast, I thought it was like the, one of the coolest sounds ever. So I was like, man, I got to learn this. That was about a year and a half ago. You've only played for a year and a half. Yeah. That's impressive. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> Before this, Chase had played publicly only once, and by his words, it wasn't very good. This week would be different. When did you get the guts to stand up in front of the school and do it? Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> That's because the 14-year-old only made it through the entire eruption solo for the first time just recently. And when Eddie died, his band teacher thought it would be a great tribute. And when you first stepped up there, what were you thinking? Oh, well, I was just thinking to myself, don't mess up. That's the only thing. I was like, don't mess up. Just play the part and you'll be fine. I'm like, I've played this a hundred times. It'll be easy. Chase certainly made it look that way. Lunchtime on a middle school stage may not be the origin story of the next guitar great. But you know what? It just might be. After playing it, I felt really good because, you know, when people cheer, it's like, you know, it's a feeling of gratification. Now you know why people want to be rock stars. Yeah, because it feels good. Feels good. Chase is in the middle, he's in the middle school band and says he plays and practices pretty much every day after school. And that includes the hours he spends alone in his room, perfecting his agility on his axe. He also says he may give the school talent show another go this year. We'll see what happens, but ultimately, says he wants to be a studio musician because they get paid and he likes money. But after his performance this week, he may learn to like screaming fans a little bit more.